from adhyapana today we shall continue with the topic from the last week that is social commitment and the writer let me quickly remind you what is it that we were discussing about we were talking about sadat hasan manto as a writer and we were supposed to analyze one short story from his collection of stories so sadat hasan manto is one of the most controversial writers of his time especially because he wrote during the period of india and pakistan partition and the topics that he chose were highly sensitive specially he was accused of getting in vulgarity in his writings also he was accused to be a attention seeker now through the story let us try and analyze was manto really trying to be an attention seeker was he bringing in vulgarity in representation of women or not this particular story 10 rupees revolves around the central character sarita Sarita is a 15 years old girl and she is a prostitute and she has been pushed into prostitution by her mother now the minute i tell the statement sarita being a prostitute and who is into prostitution there are a lot of negative connotations that come to our mind which are the most stereotypical ideas so the movies that we watch or a novel that we read or a drama that we would have watched somewhere or a tv serial everywhere we have seen negative picturization of prostitution as well as prostitutes but then this particular story though it was written during 1960s it was highly futuristic nowhere throughout the story we see any misery we do not see any wanton or debauched women instead we see sarita to be a very happy girl and whose smile is highly contagious this kind of writing was something that was not acceptable because people had stereotypical ideas and they wanted the writers to write within the boundaries and manto was highly courageous to break open those boundaries and then write so let us quickly jump into the story here sarita is a 15 years old girl who has lost her father due to a fight that happens on a train and the government has compensated sarita and her mother with 500 rupees but then unfortunately the mother loses that 500 rupees in gambling this actually tells us the behavior the attitude of the mother who is a little bit on careless side and the mother has a friend his name is kishori and he is the pimp who helps the mother to fetch customers for sarita and in a month sarita gets two to three customers the story opens like this mother is searching for sarita sarita is nowhere to be seen readers automatically imagine that sarita must have run away from her mother because mother is actually pushing her into prostitution sarita is scared of men sarita is crying in some corner these are the ideas that comes to the mind of readers but nothing like this happen on the contrary lalika sarita is happily playing in the alley with her friend so kishori also searches for her as well as the mother so sarita finally is found by her mother and the mother tells her please stop playing come home because kishori has come you have a customer the reaction of sarita is very very futuristic for 1960s sarita jumps from her place she is very happy she is like oh my goodness i have got a customer that means it is the time for me to get ready she runs to the home she is not even bothered about kishori who is sitting in the hall she goes to her room she starts getting dressed up sarita being a child being innocent is very happy to dress up because that is the only time her mother gives her a silk saree to wear she leaves her hair open and then she gets to use the perfume that kishori has got her she dresses up herself she is ready to live with kishori so kishori takes her to a customer whose name is kifayat kifayat is a cab driver and he is standing in the corner of the building where sarita lives so she doesn't know kifayat it is the first time these two are meeting each other but looking at sarita kifayat is shocked he did not expect such a young girl to be brought by kishori 
there is a little bit of tension seen on the face of kifayat but then kishori says now sarita is all yours you have to get her back in matter of 4 hours sarita quickly jumps into the car she sits in the front seat but to her surprise she just turns back she sees there are two more boys who are around 20 years old they look very scared and tensed they are in the back seat of the car the car starts they start moving further and now sarita is very silent because there is nobody to talk to her all the three boys are quiet kifayat is around 30 years old and then the two boys in the back seat are around 20 years old sarita now pulls off a kerchief from her blouse she gives it to kifayat kifayat takes it unknowingly as to why she gave it she he just pulls the kerchief she says why don't you three wipe the sweat of your face why are you three so scared and the girl starts giggling the minute the girl giggles the boys are also eased they also laugh at each other but then sarita quickly does something that none of them expected she gets up from the seat and she in a moving car she moves to the back seat back seat she just jumps and moves back and then she sits in between both the boys and she starts talking to them she also asks kifaya to lower the window pane she moves out puts her head out of the window she starts enjoying the breeze by looking at this bubbly activity of sarita the three boys are perplexed they are like they never imagined a prostitute to be happy the stereotypical norm of the generation they thought she will be quiet she has to be forced to get into a sexual act with them but none of that happen instead she starts enjoying that ride we can also understand this to be a symbol of freedom for her when she gets on with her customer in the car car is a place where she finds her liberty and the boys are clueless they have no idea what to do next and sarita starts telling she doesn't like few customers as they take her to a dark room with a iron bed which she is not okay with when she tells this she is not a seeking any sympathy from the men she tells it is still okay let us go and after that if you can get me an ice cream that would be cool she also has a plan to make herself happy instead the boys decide to take her to the beach side they go there they talk to each other they sing with each other they eat chats ice cream and they totally forget about the sexual aspect at all they do not even think about it they forget about it but then they get a lot of pleasure being friendly with sarita by then it's 4 hours they come and drop her back near her home and kifayat gives 10 rupees to her and 2 rupees for pimp kishori sarita immediately without any second thought gives that 10 rupees back to him and she says i need to pay you 3 because i had a very good time today and it is you 3 who deserve this 10 rupees which also shows that she is not money minded and she is also expressing her happiness she has a upper hand who is paying the customers at this point in time and the story ends there here we can see that manto has clearly broken all the stereotypical norms that prostitutes are money minded or prostitutes are always in misery prostitution though being one of the oldest profession is not given its due respect even today society looks at prostitution in a very in a very negative connotation but manto has actually broken all those stereotypical norms in 1960s all that i would say is hats off to sadat hasan manto for doing something this courageous and now you all can imagine why he was sent to jail not just once or twice but six times society was not yet ready to accept such a rest such a very different representation of women society wasn't ready yet but i think society is still not ready to accept such a representation but then yes writers have that power to bring about awareness writers have that power to break the stereotypical norms and i actually feel happy that manto had done this long long ago with this we will put an end to the discussion about social commitment and the writer next week i'll come up with a new topic 
Till then, happy viewing. Take care.